If you've ever taken a knock to the face and ended up with a black eye, you'll know how dramatic it can look. But what actually is a black eye? How long does it take to heal? And more importantly, do you need to seek medical care for a black eye? I'm Dr. Donovan, and in this video, I'll explain all of these things and more. So firstly, what is a black eye? Well, a black eye is bruising and swelling around the eye, usually caused by a direct injury, like being hit in the face or falling over. Now, the soft tissues around your eye are very delicate, and when they're hit, small blood vessels under the skin break. Now, this causes blood to leak into the tissues, leading to that familiar dark, swollen appearance. Now, the good news is most black eyes aren't serious. They tend to heal on their own within two to three weeks. But later in this video, we're going to cover when you should seek medical attention for a black eye. So, with this in mind, how can you treat a black eye at home? Well, the good news is there are a few simple things you can do to both reduce pain as well as swelling. Firstly, apply a cold compress like an ice pack or a bag of frozen peas wrapped in a clean cloth to the area around the eye for about 10 to 20 minutes at a time. You can do this several times a day, especially during the first 48 hours. You can also take painkillers like paracetamol or ibuprofen if needed, but make sure if you're taking ibuprofen, you do this on a full stomach after eating food. And after the first couple of days, you can switch from the ice to warm compresses. This can help improve blood flow as well as speed up healing, but just make sure that the cloth that you use is warm and not hot, because otherwise you could risk burn injuries to the eye. Now, there are also things that you should not do or avoid. So firstly, don't put ice directly on your skin because this can cause frostbite and again, damage the skin around the eye. Instead, make sure you wrap a bag of frozen peas in a towel or protective cloth. Next, don't rub or press on the area. I know this can be tempting, but this can actually worsen swelling. And don't take aspirin unless your doctor has prescribed it, because again, this can increase bleeding and make the bruising worse. So when do you need to see a doctor about a black eye? Well, like I mentioned, most black eyes do get better with self-care, but sometimes, and rarely a black eye, can be a sign of a more serious injury. So you should see your doctor if the black eye hasn't improved within three weeks, you're on blood thinning medication like warfarin, or you have a bleeding disorder like haemophilia. Similarly, you should seek urgent advice if you've got a persistent headache or blurry vision, or the area around the eye is warm and leaking pus, or you feel feverish or shivery, because these could potentially be signs of an infection. Now, rarely you will need to seek emergency care, but you should go to accident and emergency or the ER or call emergency services if you can see blood in the eye, your pupils, which is the small black bit in the middle of the eye, looks irregular or unusual, so it's mismatched compared to the other eye. You have had a head injury and now have bruising around both eyes, sometimes called raccoon eyes, or you notice bruising behind the ears. You were knocked out or have vomited after a head injury, you're experiencing vision problems like double vision, loss of vision, flashing lights, halos, or pain when looking at light, or you can't move your eye normally. These can be signs of a serious injury to the eye or even the brain and need urgent attention. And if this is the case, don't drive yourselves to the emergency room, ask a friend or family member to take you, or call for an ambulance if needed, and bring along any medications that you are taking. For more information on black eyes, please check out the description box of this video, which contains much more useful resources. Thanks for watching, and why not check out this video next?